So, Ali, you have developed technology that makes it possible to identify cows via their individual muzzles. Could you tell us a bit more about how this actually works? Yeah, actually, uh, first of all, I should mention that this technology is is a touchless method. So we don't need to touch animals, just a single photo. Just we take a facial photos of the cattle and then through the uh, model, which is worked based on AI algorithm, I mean, it will uh, just identify the cattle right after taking photos. So yeah, and the, the region of interest in this identification is the muzzle, which I can explain it more if you want. And tell me, why did you start working on this technology and why the cow's muzzle or, as some would say, the nose of the cow? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. First of all, the livestock industry is a large part of the Australian economy, not just in Australia. I believe that all around the world. On the other hand, at the beginning of my research, according to the discussion that I had with my supervision team, Associate Professor Greg Thousand and Professor Paul Kwan, the, uh, I realized that there is a lack of technology uh, in this regard for cattle identification. So the cow's muzzle, it is quite unique. I mean, in terms of accuracy and how quick this technology would work, how accurate is it? Uh, the muzzle has a uh, unique pattern, which is unique to each individual cattle, something uh, similar to the human fingerprint. So... Uh, I use this feature for cattle identification. And at the beginning of this research, I achieved the accuracy of 99.11. And uh, as I said, we are always keen to have progress and improvement. So I managed to enhance the model, which recently achieved the accuracy of 99.46%. So that's pretty accurate. I mean, in, and in terms of the information that could be extracted from this technology, you know, what would it offer the dairy farmer? And, you know, what information would be available to farmers or professionals in the dairy sector? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really important because currently most of the ranchers or farmers using traditional inf- uh, methods for ident- the livestock identification, particularly in cat for the cattle or cows, just they are using uh, ear tags or tattooing or branding or even painting. I tried to use AI technology in this regard to identify the cattle. And obviously, I received a really good feedback from the peoples as well. And on the other hand, I should mention that once the cattle identified, like the current method of identification, like ear tagging or something like that, they just use it, can use this one for managing, uh, or for cattle management. So uh, every, any information re- related to the cattle, genealogy. So it would be, it would be health everything. related, welfare related, feed related. E- everything, yeah, it becomes up and yeah, you can access to all the details and and in terms of breed, I mean, which breed did you do a trial on? Is this Would this technology be available to many cattle breeds, all cattle breeds? What is your take on that? That's a really good question. Yeah, it, it was really inf- um, important for me that this technology can be used in various kinds of breeds, not only a specific breed. Did you have any feedback from professionals in the dairy sector? What has been said? What have the reactions been? Uh, honestly, I received lots of positive feedback from the people, even including the farmers, ranchers, not only in Australia, even abroad, something like uh, United States. And in terms of time estimation, Ali, do you think this will go to market in the very near future? What do you see and how do you see this happening? It's, uh, I can say that very soon, uh, with the help of a team, including professional developers, it's not a research anymore, just uh, applications. So thank you, Ali, for your time and good luck. And we hope to hear more about this technology. And um, I would love to have an update on your work and how it's going in the future. Sure. Thank you, very Th- much. Thank you for inviting me and, uh, and arranging this interview. Really nice meeting you. Have a lovely day. Thank you.